Hello guys, before today's video I want to make an announcement. The video that you will see just now will mark a year since I've been publishing Laravel daily videos, absolutely daily. So you can see here in the list in my YouTube studio, January 30th is an important day and today is 30th of January 2022. And as you can see here, 30th of January 2021 was the last day when I didn't publish video daily. Since then, I've published 365 videos, full year, including weekends, holidays, Christmas, and all of that. So this anniversary, one year anniversary, is pretty important for me internally. Actually, in a sense, it's even more important than the amount of followers or likes or revenue from my courses, because that goal was my personal inner goal of the thing that I can control. There's a saying, you can set goals which are outside of your control, so for example, my goal of 100,000 YouTube subscribers and YouTube play silver button is the goal that outside of my control, I cannot directly control how many people subscribe to my channel, but I can control showing up daily and shooting daily videos. So I did exactly that. I enjoyed the process. It became my habit, my kind of addiction in a way to share with you. And during that year, I've learned a lot. I've improved a lot. You taught me a lot in your comments. And for now, I will keep shooting daily videos as long as I have topics, as long as I have energy. We'll see if I make it to two years, but today let's celebrate together with me one year anniversary of Laravel daily being actually daily. Now let's get on with today's video. Hello guys, today I wanna to talk about a concept called feature flags and how to implement that in Laravel. So feature flags is basically when you want to launch a new feature, but show that only to some group of the users, like beta testers, like admin users, like individual users, or just have on and off switch where you can launch the feature for one day and then turn it off again. So I will show you two packages to achieve that in Laravel. One of them is just feature flags, which will be on and off switch for a feature. And then a bit more complex is Laravel feature flags. So you would be able to assign a group or a team of users to be able to access one feature. Let's take a look at the demo. The default first project before feature flags, I've generated that with quick admin panel. So if you want to generate something like this, go to quickadminpanel.com. And I want to focus on the feature CSV import. For example, you want to launch the CSV import for some page and you want to show it only to certain users. And I have asked my colleague Nerius to build that for me with two pull requests, one for each of the packages. First, let's take a look at this package, feature flags from Eels Ideas, if I pronounce that correctly. To be able to use that, all you need to do is create the feature in the database and then you have artisan command feature on or feature off. If we take a look at the GitHub pull request for that specific package, it creates the features database table with just title and feature. And then you can use, for example, blade directive feature with the name of the feature. And when you run that command, PHP artisan feature on and then feature name, it automatically creates that feature. So PHP artisan feature on and CSV import. What happens then has been turned on. And then if we refresh that page, that CSV import is already visible. And in the database, if we refresh, we have that CSV import here. But if we do CSV import off, feature off like this has been turned off, then refresh active ad becomes null. And then if we refresh the page, that button is invisible because in the blade we have add feature. There are also ways to secure that command from the backend, not only from blade. And you can read the full documentation of this package for that with middlewares as well. I will link it all in the description below. Now, second package is more complicated. Let's quickly run through their documentation. And the usage is that you need to add has features to the user model, and then you need to work with feature groups. You can add any user to the group and then you can add feature to a specific user or to a group. So here's the full example. You create a feature group, you create a feature, then you add that feature to the feature group, then you join that group. It's kind of like joining a team of beta testers or something like that. And then you can check whether a certain user has that feature available with this syntax or in the blade, similarly to the first package, you have feature or feature group. If we put it all together in the database, so we have users, for example, I have only admin for now by default, and then we have feature groups, feature group user, feature user, and feature feature group. So many to many relationships everywhere, and the features. This is the main table. 
So now what I will do in our Quick Admin Panel user management, I will create a team called Beta Testers, for example, Beta Testers. Then I can create a user or assign already existing user to the team. But for example, let's add a user with fake filler Chrome extension to the team beta testers. Let's copy the email, some password. And then if I log out and log in with that user, I should not see the button to CSV import until we enable the feature for that specific feature group. To do that, I asked my colleague Nerius to create a specific artisan command which does the following. So finds the team by the team name. The team is a concept from our quick admin panel, so it's not a feature group. And then for each user of that team, that artisan command gives the feature. And then in the blade, we add a blade command CSV import. So to enable that, we need to do PHP artisan feature flags add feature first, and we add CSV import. Description is the same CSV import, active, yes. Then we need to launch our artisan command that we've prepared, PHP artisan feature add team to feature, beta testers, from what I remember it was uppercase, and CSV import. Gave access to CSV import feature for one users. Let's take a look at the database. So we have features CSV import, then we have feature user, many to many. Now if we refresh the actual page, we have CSV import enabled for that specific group. What do you think? Would you use any of those packages in your projects for upcoming features? Or maybe you did it already, but in some other way, share your experience in the comments and see you guys in other videos.